this is the theory of change of Civic uh, Asian Development Academy. Um, this explains why we do what we do and why we think it will lead to uh, results that we intend. This was adapted from an unpublished paper submitted to the Zwilig Family Foundation. It all starts from within, you know, the interior and the leader, uh, and it's the person who goes on a leadership development pathway. This is a quote from Pablo Picasso who said, everything you can imagine is real. Okay, so in leadership development, it all starts with the leader imagining uh, himself differently as being a capable change agent and inducing change in the world. Okay, once he chooses to um, think of himself as capable of inducing change in the world, then he has to dialogue and understand the problem. And then he needs to decide whether he will own that social problem or not, whether it's malnutrition or housing or climate change. The leader has to choose to own the problem. Otherwise, it's just, just a job and it's easy to push it out of his inbox or his, uh, blame somebody else. But once the person chooses, the leader chooses to own the problem, then his leadership journey starts. Okay, And his journey is shaped by his interactions with others. He interacts with other interacts with others by um, also inviting them to co-own the problem such that his leadership be begins when he begins to uh, dialogue with other people inv and inviting other people to join him on this journey so that there are more and more people deciding to own the problem and co-create with each other. Now, from the external side, the leader also has to be a skilled analyst, understanding the system that is going on outside from the objective uh, perspective. So he looks at the different sectoral dynamics and understands why people are included or excluded from the solution or from society. Mm -hmm. And then he seeks out the marginalized so that he is not blind, so that the solutions that they generate are informed and co-created with those who need it because uh, it's impossible for an individual to comprehend all of the complexities in uh, social problems, complex social problems. He needs to tap the brain power of many people and especially those who are excluded or who are suffering from the inadequacies or gaps of the social policy. He also invites them to co-own such that they become co-creators with him and they develop new designs with each other, building upon each other's worldviews and insights. And from ideas, they convert it quickly into reality through social labs. Social labs are platforms for uh, prototyping breakthrough ideas, ideas that may seem so crazy to most. We, to many people, will need social labs uh, to, uh, to breathe ideas into reality. Now, the prototypes will help uh, shape the system roadmap. No? It's a generative, generative process, and their actions, their dialogues, their brainstormings will result in uh, solutions and will help build up the systems development uh, roadmap. So there will be patterns and solutions that will begin to recur. And then um, the roadmap emerges. At this point, the leader needs to start thinking about scale up. Of the solutions that work, how can it be taken to the next 10 uh, towns, and then the next 100 towns, and then the next 1,000 towns. So it's not enough to just be to stop at pilots, but we need to scale up. Once we're able to scale up, then we have many leaders who are transformed and who are actively working on the system and also transforming the system such that the sectoral leadership and governance culture is transformed as the system is transformed. And that's how we achieve inclusive growth. 
And that is what Civica is all about. It's about developing leaders who will grow other leaders who will help change society.